Attending the second plenary at the Asian Financial Forum 2013 was Vittorio Grilli. You were, I think, talking specifically about policy. You were talking about, I think, Italian policy. But where would you see the problems actually being sorted out for Italy? Do you see the requirement for restoring confidence? And how do you see that actually taking place? Well, uh, I think there were several pieces of a puzzle to restore full confidence in Italy. Uh, and part of it, I think, was already accomplished. First bit, which was actually a bit bit, uh, was to restore confidence in our budget. Uh, and we know that one of, actually, I would say the central weakness of, of Italy has been the dynamic of debt to GDP. So it was quite urgent to reassure markets that our public accounts were in order. And so we did a lot of uh, uh, work, a lot, we took a lot of measures to bring our balance in the budget. So by this year, 2013, our ba budget will be in balance from this year onward. Then, of course, that's not enough. We still have to work, and we have been doing here there uh, also a lot of work in restructuring our economy because uh, one thing is having debt nominally to not to grow again but then you need the, nom the denominator the GDP to do the job of uh, frankly have our economy be back to success as we were uh, a few years ago. Now looking at the priorities that are facing the incoming Italian government following the elections what do you see as being the sort of top one if you like to put it that way? We still need to do a lot of work on is to uh, re-ignite uh, the engines of growth and uh, I would say that one of the basic figures that one has to keep in mind in order to solve it is uh, youth unemployment. If you want to have a credible story to be a high growth country you have to have young people to be able to enter the work market and be actually the driver of growth. And now we have a third of our young people that cannot find a job, and that has to change. And we already put in two major changes in the labor market. Uh, I think we'll need to do more, and not just in the labor market, in all the area of profession and uh, liberalization of the economy. How confident are you that 2013 is actually going to be a much better year for Italy, where there have been crises in the last few years, then you would say 2013 is going to be a far better year that there won't be these knocks to confidence as there were in the past. 2012 has been a better year uh, because, uh, frankly, uh, the world economy, uh, there was a lot of uncertainty in the world economy, and we had to introduce major uh, budget shifts that, frankly, didn't help as far as economic growth is concerned. But 2013, I see it much better for two reasons. One, uh, our structural reform within our country will start uh, having the effect that uh, we uh, all hope they will have. Uh, and so we think that our own economy, we've bottom up, uh, bottom uh, around first quarter of this year, and then second semester will start growing again. And second, Italy is clearly a very important part of Europe, and Europe have been doing a lot of work as well and so we introduced a lot of changing changes in the European framework both from the point of view of uh, crisis management monetary policy fiscal policy and this uh, I think has been a credible exercise and the market is recognizing it well you're here at the uh, Asian Financial Forum 2013 and of course Hong Kong is a place where many Italian brands have set up shop basically and looked at the Chinese mainland to, to create a greater degree of, of, of profits for where clearly that, was, that wasn't the case back in Europe. But do you see that trend continuing? Do you see Italian companies coming to Hong Kong, setting themselves up here? Is that a sort of imprimatur that you would like to see going forward? I, I think that it is a must. Uh, I think that company to be successful have to be internationally successful. And uh, I, in fact, I think this is uh, some of the good points of Italian recovery right now, I think is a leading indicator. Uh, our uh, company, which are much, much more export oriented, are doing quite well right now. They are, they are earning market shares, especially in Asia and other uh, uh, um, uh, growing economy. Uh, of course, uh, uh, these are markets that are coming bigger and bigger. So if you want to 
increase your market share, that's where you have to go and see. I see that Hong Kong is a huge and excellent platform to really reach those markets. I think uh, we'll, uh, and we have been doing at home a lot of work to push our company to utilize uh, Hong Kong and other platform uh, around Asia uh, to, be, uh, to be successful in the future. So having spoken at the uh, Asian Financial Forum 2013, what's your impression of the forum? What, what did you think was particularly memorable of certainly the, the plenary session that you had, but uh, perhaps the previous one as well? That was my first time here uh, and I think uh, I was and I am quite impressed. I think this is a kind of exercise uh, that is absolutely fundamental because our economy, the world economy, uh, despite that we have been saying for many years, globalization, globalization, but people now are really coming to realize that it's not just a word, it's really reality. Uh, economy are so interconnected that we need to have time and places where to exchange idea, uh, focus on each other uh, uh, sort of problem, but also solutions and uh, to make the best uh, of those to, to move forward.